Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius for uh, the first two weeks in January. This is just going to be like a general reading. My next segment is going to be love focused. So let's just see what we got for the first two weeks of January for Aquarius. What are we and keep in mind that this reading may or may not be for you. And this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Oh, we're going to take that one. Man holding heart. What a mess, huh? So something may be a mess, but I don't usually say that. Man holding heart. It is, it is reversed. So, um... Some we could have somebody that is is giving their heart away. They're giving their heart away to somebody else, or they're taking their their love away. You know what I mean? Or they're giving it away. It could go either way. Um, this it feels like this is withholding love. That's what it feels to me. It feels like we have somebody here that is withholding love. Um, And maybe they're no longer in love or they're falling in love with somebody else. This person may not be emotionally available. Maybe they're not wanting a long-term commitment or they're just not, uh, you know, this isn't, it's, it doesn't feel like there's reciprocal love. But this isn't, that's what it, it doesn't feel like this is real love or this isn't, uh, emotionally supporting I hate to keep it reversed but I have to now this is the number nine nines are a number of closure so there could be a chapter that is closing um, somebody may not be be feeling loved by a by a masculine you know there's a lack of love there that's what it looks like to me what do we have for Aquarius a lack of emotions, okay? Um, that you could be dealing... If you could think about this as the King of Cups, okay? But it's in reversed. This person doesn't have good intentions. They're not emotionally available. They're cold and withdrawn. Okay? So that could be exactly who you're dealing with. This person doesn't communicate. They're secretive. They're closed off emotionally. So it could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that you're dealing with. Doesn't have to be. This could be anybody's energy. This is a masculine. It is. And it could be a, a female masculine. Okay. This is a masculine energy that is not, you know, they're emotionally closed off and they're not available. And there's your Knight of Cups reversed. And the Five of Pentacles reversed. Now, this is somebody that may have come in to sweep you off your feet. Or you came to sweep them off their feet. You know, you had some sort of love to offer. Somebody was wanting a relationship, but the other person wasn't. Okay? The Knight of Cups reversed. This is... This is uh, somebody that is very charming in the beginning, but it's not long term. A five of Pentacles. This could be a rebound. Somebody may be, may have uh, been looking for some sort of rebound relationship just to, you know, repair their ha recent heartbreak or whatever the case is. But this is the this is coming out of the darkness. This is uh, coming out of something a victim situation where somebody was made a victim or some this could be vic the king of cups in reverse is somebody that may see themselves as a victim and this is some sort of victim mentality as well so we have somebody here that may play themselves the victim or they may just been the victim of some sort of heartbreak and you know that's why they you know came into the picture or somebody may be a victim of a circumstance where their heart is getting broken there is a lack of emotional fulfillment here the, or reciprocation okay um oh wonderful the tower so the tower is uh a disruption 
shedding the light, a false sense of security. So be prepared for something to change. Okay, this is something something that explodes. Okay, this could be this is definitely a split of some sort. Um, somebody could be getting thrown out. Um, there's this is an explosive energy. It feels to me, this is a false foundation, and this is a false relationship. Somebody is in a false sense of security, and they've been hanging on to it. This is the card of abandonment. It's like they've, they've abandoned, they've already mentally or emotionally abandoned the situation, and they, it's, it's like it's time to get out of it. If you're not really in love with it, then it's time to get out of it, and this is... You know, the tower is a major life change where the light gets shed on a situation where somebody has been holding on to a false foundation, a false sense of security because <coughs> of their own insecurities. So this is something that is about to crumble. Okay, life is good. That is a life change. And it's, it's, it's sudden. Things, something is going to happen suddenly. This is grieving, sadness. <clears throat> this is regrets and loss. So somebody is probably going to be regretting their actions. This is crying over a loss, not realizing that there's a better opportunity. Really focusing on some sort of separation, focusing on, you know what happened not seeing that there's another opportunity here judgment judgment this is a wake this is a rude awakening and this is a wake up call we have somebody here that is about to get a rude awakening okay i mean i can't that is exact and there's going to be there's sadness and grieving over it okay this is sadness and grieving regrets And this is a breakup of some sort or a split. It is. Perhaps it's time to accept that change is needed. This is a card of acceptance. And it's a card of endings. And, you know, living your sole purpose. I think there's somebody from the past. So there's there's a chance for somebody to rekindle something with somebody from the past. Interesting. We definitely have a rude awakening here. There's somebody is about to experience um some sort of shocking revelation or some because this is a revelation it's a reveal this is an epiphany as well somebody should could be getting some sort of you know epiphany that wakes them up this is judgment day judgment is is also can be someone from the other side that is guiding you to release this is a card of release Either way, this is a secret that is about to be revealed and you're going to have to accept that it's time for a change. So if somebody has been keeping secrets, the secrets are going to come out. This is a card of forgiveness, needing forgiveness, asking for forgiveness. It's time to live again. That's what I keep hearing. It is. It's time to live again. You've got to let go of this false sense of security to live again. You should be living your best life. Not a false one. Somebody is, is in a false commitment or a false marriage or a false foundation. And they're grieving internally. And they have a lot of insecurities that are holding them back from getting the romance or getting the relationship that they dream about. Interesting. Interesting. You deserve. We talk about this a lot. This is about give and take. It's about generosity. You deserve peace. You deserve harmony. You deserve reciprocation. 
So it's somebody's in an unrequited love situation where they're not getting the love from their masculine that they deserve. And it's like they're dreaming of something more. And they're probably, you know, hoping that things are going to change. Things aren't going to change. They're not going to change. This is false sense of security. It's a false foundation. This There's going to be a shock when you get the tower card. Rest assured there is. That's the universe saying, okay, you don't want to change it. You're too scared. You're too fearful. Let me help you with that. So... Somebody is is uh, being controlled by a father figure or a husband or a masculine. And they're having a hard time doing the right thing because they're society driven. This could be a marriage where somebody doesn't want to be in the marriage. But what is everybody else going to say? What's the whole town going to say? What's the family going to say? What are our friends going to say? What are my kids going to say? If I follow my heart. So social pressure, we have somebody here that is under a lot of social pressure to stay in a commitment, whether it's at job or it's at home. They're under a lot of social pressure to stay in something that is false. It's a false sense of security. It's, there's no love here. Definitely a fear of being disgraced, but there is a relationship that is not on the same page. But society is in control at this point. So don't, I mean, judgment day will come. It will come. Do you want to look down from above when that day comes and say, I wasted my life on that to, to prove to society that I was happy when I wasn't? You'll come back. You'll come back again. This is a past life lesson. It is. You have to honor your soul. And we have somebody here that isn't. You come back and you repeat it again, but it will be more difficult next time. Anyway. We have somebody here that uh, wants to abandon this situation, feels abandoned, feels alone, but is, is having a really hard accepting that it's time for a change. And it's like somebody that has passed away or a spirit guide or somebody is trying to guide them, but they're not listening. We have somebody here that just is refusing to listen. Ooh, seven of swords reversed on the seven of swords. This is, this is, um, somebody isn't looking in the right, they're, they're, they're not looking in the right direction. The truth is going to come out. They think they're getting away with it. They're keeping secrets. They're looking outside the relationship. They're wanting to go someplace else. But with this temperance reversed, it's like they're engaged. There's, there's, they're engaging in negative patterns that may be like, oh, I'll just cheat and I'll get away with it. I'm hoping I can get away with it. They know something doesn't feel right. You know, there's a, there's a, there's self healing that is needed. Somebody is in an unbalanced situation that isn't healthy. Uh, there's inappropriate be behavior here. Somebody is behaving inappropriately because there, there's a lot of imbalance because this isn't, it's not meant to be. It's not meant to be. It's not. Healthy. The temperance reverse is just, it's not meant to be. It's, it's a negative situation. Somebody is holding on to a negative situation. There's probably some sort of cheating or deception or lies. Somebody's not thinking clear, clearly. They're engaging in something that is very, very, very unhealthy. Going to get them in trouble. It is definitely going to get them in trouble. 
So anyway, we do have some sort of rude awakening. There's something that is going to happen that is going to definitely reveal something, okay? Something is going to get revealed. Somebody is probably going to be experiencing a loss. Um, they, there's definitely been some inappropriate behavior that is going to be, this is an inappropriate behavior that is going to be revealed. This could be the onset onset of illness there is some sort of self-healing that is needed and we have somebody here that is absolutely refusing to accept that it's time for a change it's like they're fighting change and they're pretending extremely pretending that this is stable this is good it's not it's really 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 not so i feel like these next two weeks this could be somebody that is you know, this is a marriage or legal issues uh, propping up. Somebody could be filing for divorce or they could be splitting. There could be a split, okay, with this. This is being somebody could get thrown out. There's some sort of truth that is revealed, seriously, with these cards right here. There's definitely unhealthy behavior here where so, there's somebody is getting caught and it feels like they're getting caught cheating or they're getting caught with another person. Um, there could be some sort of alcohol involved or some sort of addictions. It could even be a sex addiction. I don't know. But there's definitely some sort of illegal behavior that is, is, is getting revealed. Okay. Um, somebody has been giving their time and energy to another person. And it may have been hidden, but it's not going to be hidden very much longer. I don't know if you are dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a Leo. Um, this is, this is a lack of unabil inability to restrain themselves. Somebody may be, be dealing with somebody that is very attractive and this person doesn't have very good morals and they, they, uh, they engage as well. They don't care if this person is in a commitment or not. They just, they don't care. They don't care. They just do it because they don't have very good morals. It's all about, they're very selfish. Um, there's an inability to restrain oneself because somebody is needing attention. So they, it's like they need attention, so they decide to cheat or they decide to, you know, look outside the commitment and they get caught. So that's kind of what I, that is what I see here. We have somebody here that is vulnerable and weak and they have low self-esteem and lack of confidence. They, they um, don't believe in themselves. Okay, they don't believe in themselves. They don't believe that they deserve something better, but they do. So I feel like there is some sort of wake-up call that is going to be delivered this week that causes some sort of well, uproar with the Tower card. Okay, there's going to be a, a truth revealed that causes some sort of disruption. There could also be, this could be a sudden, you know, accident, you know, something... It is. It's very sudden. It's like all of a sudden something is shown. It just out of nowhere. It's like it was an accident. Whatever gets shown, it's like it wasn't, it didn't get hidden well. Do you know what I mean? It, it's hard to explain. This was, um, somebody runs into something by accident. Okay, they run into the truth by accident. Okay, it's like somebody wasn't thinking clearly. They weren't looking where they were going or they weren't, you know, um, wow, God, it's like, like they weren't thinking clearly. And that's what's going on right here. It's like they, it was a misstep, you know, and it was a misstep and that's how they get caught. They didn't cover it up good enough. So whatever. Somebody is going to get caught. They're going to get caught in something. Um, right here. This is this is something. This is a wake of getting caught. The truth coming out. This could also be a judgment that is being made about something not being stable, not being solid, not being secure. We could have somebody here that has extreme addictions. They're very, very, very unhealthy. And the truth comes out. They've been lying, 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 lying. Um, and now there's some sort of uh, breakdown. Okay. There's definitely going to be a breakdown. Th some, there's going to be an uproar. Be prepared. Somehow you are involved. 
There could be some neglect. There has been some neglect. Somebody has been neglecting their person. And their person has been looking outside and giving their time and energy to somebody else. And they're going to get caught. And that is what I see. There's this is like there's no chance for uh, things to change with this false sense of security. There isn't. There's no chance for that. But there's a chance to live again. There's a chance for renewal, but you have to release. You have to accept that change is needed. So we have somebody here that is refusing to accept, but they're going to accept because the universe is going to make them. They're, it's like they're, you're going to start with a clean slate. Whether you like it or not. This is a necessary evil. And there's going to be sadness. And there's going to be grieving. Somebody's probably going to be regretting. Their poor decisions to lie, cheat, steal. Whatever they did. They're definitely going to be experiencing some regrets. So anyway, Aquarius, I feel be prepared for, you know, a sudden revelation or a sudden reveal. Somebody is about to get a rude awakening that changes their life. I mean, that's what's going to happen. This is going to be a shock. This is a shocking truth that gets revealed. I mean, it's the truth, okay? And it's going to change everything. And there's probably going to be some tears. Sorry, but that's what I got. Good luck.